So we really, over the last day, said now that we have vaccine left, let's distribute that out to the EMTs who are in great need of it. Now to that push to get all of our first responders vaccinated against COVID-19. EMTs are up next. Channel 5's John Paul Barajas takes a look at the plan One Valley Hospital has ready to go, and that's all new tonight. When you hear frontline healthcare workers, you often think doctors and nurses, and that's not wrong. They're tackling COVID head on. But others on the front lines are EMTs, and when they get a call, they never know if the patient is infected or not. And oftentimes, you know, we get neglected, and nothing to take away from the nurses and doctors because they're overworked as well. But our our employees have put numerous hours in and, and, and have taken the burden just, just as, as much as anyone else. Hidalgo County EMS Director Marco Suarez saw firsthand today that their hard work hasn't gone unnoticed. 800 and 900 EMTs across the valley were injected with Pfizer's vaccine. According to UTRGV's Dr. John Krause, this was something that was always in the plan. They just didn't know how soon it would happen. Our EMTs are in the midst of this. They're taking care of patients, not knowing what they're getting into. And let's make sure that they're treated so they can feel safe when they go out into the community to take care of patients. It was first come, first serve for EMTs today. UTRGV's offices had a revolving door from early in the morning until about 7 tonight. Suarez says having EMTs vaccinated is a huge relief for emergency management services everywhere. They're excited because, you know, unfortunately some of our, some of our employees, you know, um, were, were infected with COVID-19. And it puts a burden not only on, on their lives and on their families' lives, but it puts a burden on the industry as well. Frontline workers will continue to get doses in the days to come. Dr. Krause explains more shipments of Pfizer's as well as Moderna's vaccine should be arriving in the coming days. What have you seen so far with y'all's plan with the vaccine and how it's gone so far over this past week? We've been thrilled. You know, it really is almost moment to moment, day to day, that um, you want to keep up and make sure that you're getting people in. You want to make sure that you're not having doses that are not being used. He adds their plans of who gets doses and when is flexible as more become available. Next up on the vaccination list, those 65 and older and those with severe illness. Health teams hope to start protecting that group of people starting in January and for the rest of the general public in the coming months after that. For now, the best ways to stay safe are continue practicing social distancing and always wear a mask. John Paul Barajas, Channel 5 News, this weekend.